Hi guys, welcome back. I quickly want to show you how to braid your motor wires. So what we have here is an old motor and a pile of braiding. What I normally do is I normally attach these to the frame, solder it in and actually put a bit of tape around it. But I think a smarter solution is the actual braiding. So I want to just show you how to do that quickly because there is a technique. So let's get a chunk of braiding, like so. I have a couple of little heat shrink tubes as well because you need to seal the ends because they will fray. And I find they fray quite a bit. So what I like to do at the beginning is I like to seal them just a little bit, just a light burn. It just helps. Put your heat shrink on first. There we go. And then we squeeze this on. We're going to do something called snaking. So the wires into the start of the braiding and what you want to do is you want to hold push down you can see how it contracts and if you let go you can snake it down you can see that will go on very easily any problem I have is with the end for some reason Snaking the end is a little bit of a problem. There we go, there, those are the wires. More of a problem would be getting this heat shrink over here. almost on. Seat is quite small already. There you go, that's over the end. You can see how that looks already, it always, already looks quite smart. There you go. Let's see if I can get that one a little bit better. What I use now and again is a lighter for heat shrink. I have got a and that will just contract it nicely. You see that's contracted, that's sealed. And that I hope you think would be quite nice. Yeah. That's it guys, just wanted to show you that. I quite like it. Maybe you might need actually need a bit of tape still to just seal it, but I think it looks better than just the free wires on the Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.